This video tutorial will explain the export functionality found in Global Mapper version 15. For many users, a key strength of Global Mapper is its ability to process data in a virtually endless list of third party applications. Global Mapper can import and export over 225 geospatial file formats with the release of version 15. However, this list grows with every subsequent release of Global Mapper. To begin the export process, data must first be loaded into Global Mapper. Using the Download Online Data Source option, I will be downloading NAEP Ortho Imagery for Hollowell, Maine. This data set is being transferred over the internet from the NAEP host server. These servers may not always be available due to maintenance or other technical issues. It is recommended that the data be saved locally so you do not have to continuously depend on a streaming service. To save the data locally, the user must export the data. The export options are found in the File menu in Global Mapper. At the top of the list is the Export Global Mapper Package File command. This option allows the user to export any and all loaded data into a Global Mapper Package file. These files contain the actual data in a compressed format. Package files provide an easy way to pass around data between Global Mapper users on different computers with a single self-contained file. Global Mapper supports the export and import of geographically referenced PDFs and 3D PDF files. These PDF files can be opened in even the basic Adobe Reader application. Spatially intelligent PDF files allow for quick and easy distribution of GIS data to folks that aren't necessarily GIS savvy. The 3D PDF files allow for panning and zooming in a 3D environment, as well as the ability to turn on and off layers. Export Elevation Grid format is used for terrain or surface modeling and includes over 50 file formats. Export Raster and Image formats include JPEG 2000, PNG, GeoTIFF, Mr. Sid, RAW, Bitmap, and many others. Export vector formats is used for shapefile exports, LAS or LiDAR point cloud exports, SIG formats, and many more. Please visit the Blue Marble website for a full list of supported formats. The export menu also provides options for web formats, which is an easy way to publish to the cloud and spatial databases. For the loaded NAEP image, we will export using the raster image format. First, the user is asked to select the file type. We will be generating a JPEG 2000. The Export Options box allows the user to configure the resulting file. Global Mapper will automatically select the best sample spacing for the data loaded. The user is provided with the options for compression, banding, metadata, and other advanced controls. The Tiling tab allows the user to generate multiple export files. This is useful for splitting up large data sets into smaller, more manageable files. The Export Bounds tab restricts the geographic area being exported. It can be restricted to only the data on screen, by drawing a box, by longitude or latitude, or by a selected polygon feature. Let's draw a box to limit the geographic area to be exported. Simply click and hold to draw the box. Click OK in the Export Options dialog box and specify where you would like to save the file and name the file. Exported data is not automatically loaded into Global Mapper. Go to File Open to bring in the newly saved JPEG 2000 NAEP imagery file. In the Overlay Control Center, you can see the file added. You may also close the NAEP 2011 image to disconnect from the streaming server. Next, I will load in a locally saved parcel shapefile for Hollowell. In the Overlay Control Center, only the layers toggled on will be exported. Let's toggle off the image file so that only the parcels are visible. Now, let's export these parcel polygons to a web format. Again, you are prompted to select the format type. We will be exporting Google Map Tiles. Notice the Export Options dialog box is specific to the file type. We will leave all the settings as default and click OK. Specify where the files are to be saved and name the file. You will be asked if you would like to view the tiles in a web browser. This data can now be distributed through a website or a web browser. 
Thank you for watching this video tutorial. Please visit the Blue Marble website for more information about Global Mapper and the supported file types.